In previous videos, we looked at configuring service chaining as well as multi service chaining with Victor Love. In all those videos, all the devices were part of the same VPN. In this video, we'll look at configuring service chaining between two sites through a firewall, which is connected with the third site but in a very different VPN. Trash is the topology we'll be using for this demo. We have two VHS, VH1 and VH2, which are in the same VM, VPN, that is VPN 11, and by default, traffic directly flows between them. We also have a firewall connected to VH3 but this is connected on VPN 12. Now we'll create a service chain policy and force the traffic in between VH1 and VH2, which are in VPN 11, to go through the firewall connected to VH3 in VPN 12. This will be for the forward traffic, as well as for the reverse traffic from site uh, VH2 to VH1. To save time, I've already configured the firewalls to allow the communication, and we'll only focus on creating the policies. So let's begin by checking our existing communication. So let's go to networks. Let's go to VH1. Let's go to troubleshooting. Let's do a trace route to a destination on VH2. And as you can see, the traffic directly flows between them. Similarly, let's check the reverse traffic. And the return traffic also flows directly. Let's also go and look at the routes. So you can see all the routes are only VPN 11. I don't learn any routes on VPN 12. Similarly, if I go to VH3, I don't have any routes for VPN 11. All I have is routes for VPN 12. Let's go to templates. Uh, let's quickly view the template attached to VH3, which is connected to the firewall. So let's go to service VPN and let's check our VPN 12 tem template. Let's go to service. And this is where I have defined the two services, Net Service 1 and Net Service 2. They're both connecting to the firewalls, uh, one with the inside interface of the firewall and the other one with the outside interface of the firewall. But let's go to policies. And let's add our policy. Let's click next. So let's first add our control policy to exchange the routes. Let's call this VPN 11 from site 11 and 12. Let's add our sequence. So our policy, let's add a rule. And here match on VPN. 11 and then actions accept and export to VPN 12. Let's save it. Let's change the default action to accept and save a policy. Similarly, let's add another policy to exchange routes from VPN 12. Let's call this VPN 12 from site 13. Let's call the sequence. Match on VPN 12. And then actions accept and export to VPN 11. Save, change the default action to accept. And save a policy. So these are our route leaking policies. So let's go ahead and add our control policies to route the traffic to the firewalls. So let's first add our control policy. Let's call this site 11 to site 12 via firewall.
sequence let's match on site 12 then actions accept and set the service to net service 1 which is in VPN 12 encapsulation of IPsec and save let's change the default action to accept and save a policy similarly let's add another control policy with the return traffic let's call this site 12 to site 11 firewall so let's add our sequence let's match on site 11 actions accept service net service 2 the vpn of 12 encapsulation ipsec Save it. Default action change to accept. And save a policy. So that's our four policies. So let's click next. We don't need to create any application of app routing. So let's click next. So let's assemble a policy here. Let's call this service chain. With route link. So let's add our site list sequentially. So let's add our site list for the VPN import route imports. So here from VPN 11 to site 12, let's add it as an inbound site list from 11 and 12. Click add. That can be from VPN 12 as an inbound site list to site 13. Click add. Then from site 11 to site 12 by firewall, it goes as an outbound site list on site 11. And for the return traffic from site 12 to site 11 as an outbound site list to site 12. Let's click add. So let's preview our policy. So the first is the control policy which imports routes from VPN 11 into VPN, uh, VPN 12. And then similarly, we have another control policy which exports routes from VPN 12 to VPN 11. And then we have our control policies to force the traffic from site 11 to site 12 by firewall, setting the action to net service 1 on VPN 12. Similarly, for the return traffic from site 12 to site 11, it's matching on site 11, setting the net service, setting the service as net service 2 on VPN 12. And those have been applied as inbound and outbound control policies. So let's save the policy. And activate the policy. So policies has been pushed. Let's go to network. Let's go to VH1. Let's go to real time and do a show of IP routes. And now you can see that I learn routes from VPN 12 as well, which are the 155 network, which are connected to the firewalls. And similarly, if I go and check on VH2, I see the routes are learned from VPN 12. If I go to VH3, I learn routes from VPN 11 and 12 as well, which are the LAN, edge, LAN network connected to VH1 and 2. So let's go back to VH1 and go back to troubleshooting trace route and trace the destination connected to h2 there you can see that the traffic now flows through the firewall and then comes back from the firewall to h3 and then goes to the destination in h2 similarly let's check the return traffic And the return traffic also flows through the firewall. 
going from VH2 to VH3 to the firewall and then back to VH1. Thus, using the centralized policy framework in Viptela, you can create different service chaining policies. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.